Welcome back to Within Reason uh, with Bob Kerrigan and Bill Rankin. This is Bob. I'm um, Bill. It would be wrong to say that Mr. Kerrigan just spends 30 minutes, you know, ripping stuff off left-wing websites and coming in here. He's actually done some investigative journalism, a number of things, uh, yeah. and we want to follow up on some of those. I want to ask you some some questions. This is one of the, but one are of the you best suggesting things. I knew that, nothing about this. Are you suggesting that I have spent this time on these left-wing sites and have used that in the past on other programs? Is that kind of what your the message here was? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I actually think that's oh, true. Okay. Yeah. I, that's all right. Okay. <clears throat> Go but ahead. This, this is really good. I knew nothing about this until I heard it from you. I didn't yeah. read it in the paper. I read most of the paper most of the time. Well, it hasn't and been in is, the paper. Really. This is closing <clears throat> the primary. This oh, is, this oh, is yeah. an amazing thing. What's this, first of all, what <clears throat> is it? And what's, what's the status of that now? What's well, going on? update the, the status of it. It works this way. In Article 6, Section 5, Subsection 2 of the Florida Constitution, there's a provision that says that in the event that two people or three people are from the same party, okay, <clears throat> the primary, and no one qualifies from the other party, the primary becomes open and allows all voters, independent voters, <clears throat> pardon me, and Democrats, to vote in the open primary. Right. Otherwise, the majority of people would be disenfranchised. Right. right. That's exactly right. And that's why they had the article, that's why that constitutional amendment was uh, passed. So, what they've done, and this is a little glitch in it, is the division of elections in Tallahassee construed opposition candidate to include a write-in. Mm -hmm. So, if you have two Republicans, <clears throat> or two Democrats, whatever it might be, and there's no opposition, and then at the last minute, somebody, anybody can submit to be a write-in. Just you what? fill out one piece of paper, and you, you don't have to pay any money, nothing. You just put, put your name in. How, how, mm. Bob, how can you not be in a write-in? I, I remember <clears throat> a, an, a, an election yeah. where I really didn't like either candidate, so I wrote in the name of a daughter of a friend of ours. She didn't win. <clears throat> well, you could but only... No, nobody stopped me from doing that. But you could only do that on the ballot if there is if a there's place a uh -huh, for the write-in. Write to, to and they won't put a place for <clears throat> write-ins unless somebody declares. Is that it? Exactly okay. right. So here's what's happened in Florida. And it's happened many times. We have uh, 15 races now in Florida, mm -hmm. 11 House seats and 4 Senate seats, in which you only had... Uh, the qualifiers in one party. I think there's four Democratic Party situations and then whatever the balance is, 11 Republicans. So at the last minute, somebody gets a write-in to put in a write-in, and then they close the primary, meaning that yeah. you that the, the independent voters and the opposite party uh -huh. voters can't vote. And in a majority no of these... No petitions, no percentages. You just send something in the division right. of election saying, I'm going to be a write-in candidate. It's a one piece of paper That's it. where you swear and has to be notarized that you're a registered voter and that you'll follow the Constitution. Is basically what it says. Now, the, the, the fallacy of this is that you don't see that name on the ballot. You just right. see a blank. Right. So you can write in Nikita Khrushchev. You put any name you want to. Right. Okay? You might write in Barack Obama, even, if you wanted to, in that form, yeah. just, to, just to, well, as a protest. If, if, okay? if we could write him in yeah. as supervisor of garbage, and he'd have to serve, <laughs> I, I would lead the charge. Well, he... You can write him in, but if he's not qualified, he can't be sworn in. So oh, these see. fictitious candidates can't get sworn in. But here's what's happened. We have three races in Escambia County. We talked about this last week where we have a closed primary now because of a write-in. What, which races? Uh, the clerk's office, the sheriff's office, and a state representative's races. Mm -hmm. So those are closed. So across Florida now, we have seen this now done countless times in Florida where... In many, many situations, here in Escambia County is an example, a majority of the voters are disenfranchised. They cannot they vote. Can't vote. They can't now, vote. Now, they'll the say this. Well, yeah, you could write somebody's name in, you know, which, <laughs> That's is, ridiculous. which is fictional. So we've been working with some lawyers uh, in other parts of the state. It looks like a suit is going to be filed Good in, for you. In, in Miami. Yeah. You instigated it. In a, well, I've been working with some lawyers who've been concerned about that it. We, is we did the research. That is, so one yeah. of the candidates thinks, well, I'm going to have an advantage yeah. I have an advantage among the Republicans. This other person, for example, and I think this is true, Sheriff Morgan has reached out to the minority community. I mean, he really has made an effort to show that, that <clears throat> he wants to protect their neighborhoods as well as everybody else's yes. neighborhoods. And so he may have a little more appeal among the Democrats than somebody else. I think that's exactly and right. And if that person can just disenfranchise, just kick all the Democrats out yes. by this little scheme... They have a then better you chance. Do that. Put your brother-in-law, just sign this piece of paper, Jim, but, and 
But now it's not fair to call it a scheme because it's it's facially legal, okay? But here's the problem. It doesn't matter that a candidate does it. If you think about this, if we have two Democrats, just say two Democrats, mm -hmm. somebody in the Democratic Party will say, we don't want Republicans voting in this race anyway. I'll just file in as a write-in candidate. Uh -huh. So anybody that wants to can destroy the open primary. That's the problem, That's whether wrong. it's an inside candidate in the race yeah. or an outside person. And then, literally, we have some races in which the write-in candidates have gotten no votes. And in many cases, it's three votes or four oh, votes in the final yeah. election. But you've disenfranchised all those people. So... There are many lawyers in the state well, I have the solution with that to group. That yeah. Locally. Yeah. Uh, well, it's an easy solution. What's the solution? Just everybody register Republican. Well, that's a very that's a, that's a wonderful idea. That's well, what I did. It works great. Certainly. What's taken. wrong with that? Well, here's what's wrong with it. Do you know what percentage of people in Florida are independents? No. Registered as independents? No. 24% of the voters are independent voters in Florida. Well, that's done. Then you don't get to vote in the primaries. You they, don't have to vote Republican uh, when you register uh, Republican. No. They don't want a thing to do with the Republicans or the Democrats. I think you could generalize that. And they're saying this. Well, they're making a statement that they're, they're independent. They're making a statement that they're independent. Right. But think about this. If it's a Democratic primary, they don't get to vote. Right? right? It's a closed Democratic primary. Right. If it's a closed Republican primary, they, they don't, don't get, get to vote. There's no independent So primary. the independent voters aren't getting to vote. Now, here's the That's argument. That's the point. That's why I register Republican. I know. I understand why you Which gets you a lot of crap from the Republican Party. The surveys, they're yeah. dying to know your opinion. Well, why this not, is a registered why document from the Republican Party. Why don't you register as a Party. Democrat and you won't get all that garbage because the Democrats because don't have any no money. Because Democrats win anything well, here. Well, it doesn't matter if you're winning. It's principle. You stand on I principle. I vote in any yeah. elections that matter. What difference does it make? You know, I have a vote. I'm, look, every, anytime anybody asks me for at, my opinion, I give it, even when I don't have an opinion. Look at the Republican slate of candidates, though. Over and over, look they're just the a, a long yeah. list of losers. I mean, what do you care about that? I mean, what difference does it make? I write in Ron Paul. I do what I want. I no. try to pick the lesser of two evils. All right, we, we beat that to death. What else you got? Ah, well, there's more. Okay. These, are, these are your things. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's closing the yeah. primary. Um, yeah. We'll bring you up to date on the lawsuit. As last this last yeah. week, this is another thing. I had no idea about this, and I d don't think it was in the media. You talked about the great gas grab. Yes, and we, need it, we need an update on that, yeah. and we need another definition of the great gas grab. Well, we, here's, it, it, we talked about it briefly, and I can bring you updated, uh, an update on it. We, a lot of people are filing public records requests, and without characterizing anybody's conduct as wrong or illegal or anything, which we are not, because we don't know yet, but here's the facts. They've been laying gas pipeline out on Pensacola Beach. Somebody gave them permission to do it. That's a franchise area that belongs to the Energy well, Services of Pensacola. Pensacola. <clears throat> the city of Gulf Breeze is laying gas pipe out there. We are told they're using FEMA money to do it. Might be totally, perfectly legal. I have no idea. But here's what's the big problem: is they don't have the authority of the Energy Services of Pensacola in their in their franchise area, which is all of Escambia County, which includes the beach. They don't have the, they don't have any right to be out there. So they all raced down. We talked about this last week, and they had all these meetings, and they pigeonholed all these city commissioners, and please don't sue us. Please don't sue us. We'll work it out. We're so sorry. This is, the, this is what it They're is. They're sorry? You know, I mean, a, they accidentally laid pipe? Yeah. This is, <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a, this is a classic. You know how that can happen. Classic <laughs> illustration. <laughs> yeah, this is, what? I was no. just laying gas pipe, right. and I just got carried away, so I, I went across the bay. and I think it's been boom. going on for a couple of years or longer. But here, here's the thing is we'll do it and apologize later. Yeah, that's pretty much the kind of. But when Better for it to ask forgiveness when a, and permission. Exactly. But yeah. when a government asks for forgiveness instead of permission, a government? What kind of government is that? So it's the if, government of Gulf Rays. Well, the people who is. gave you the red light cameras. Maybe, maybe it is. You know, what is it? one time it was the only city in Florida that was regularly losing population. I don't know. Well, what Pensacola <laughs> is in that category. Well, now it's about it. One time yeah. when the whole state, when the state was just bubbling with people, people were bailing out and leaving Gulf Breeze. I don't know why. It's not that we dislike Gulf Breeze. It's just a crummy little town. I mean, <laughs> that's a, what else you got? Okay. <laughs> But I don't mean to, dis more. I don't mean to disparage more. it. No, that's not disparaging. No. That's just people an observation. People that live there love it, okay? A lot of people love it. Oh, it's a fine community. They got a good, they got, here's what you hear from people. Yeah. They got good schools. Well, excellent schools because they pretty much have ruled out any minority people living there.
Yeah. I mean, it's they kind of systematically set up this little yeah, white on Oh, it just happened. Sure, yeah. that's right. All right, what else you got? Okay. Yeah. And we've got, well, but, but your people, the <laughs> Democrats, have a remedy for that. Have you ever heard the word affordable housing? This is one of those liberal... Yeah, you know, affordable housing means something you can afford to live in. Affordable housing yeah. means somebody else pays for somebody's housing. Somebody else, when when the politicians say we need affordable housing, that that what that means is I'm going to grab some money from somebody else to yeah. pay for the housing of the people who vote for me. That's what affordable well, housing. Well, affordable means. housing can mean affordable housing. That we're going to have Not housing that's affordable. I mean, when you know, a politician says it, yeah. affordable housing means subsidized. Yeah, and and, and that's who do you find that to be. Uh, misusing that, do you think uh, all Democrats, dis disabled people, Every misuse Democrat. it? People who can't, uh, who can't misuse what? They misuse affordable housing, get help in their housing because they they can't make a living and they've got sickness or infirmity or something like that. You're not opposed to those people having a little help on their housing. Well, that, here's the thing. Maybe you are. M maybe maybe That's people who can't scary. afford <laughs> afford housing need help in housing. They do. But the way they do it is they push for affordable housing, like in Beverly Hills. We, why can't poor people live in Beverly Hills? Why can't well, they? Well, <laughs> that's a good here's question. Why? <laughs> why? Because you know, what's wrong with that? It's, what's, what's wrong with that <laughs> is it distorts the free market. People ought to be able to live where they want, and if something's really desirable, I don't know why you'd want to live in Beverly Hills. I've been there, but if it's something that's really desirable to people. Then they'll pay more. I think that's true. I mean, you I, know, I mean, it's, it's yeah, not. I, I was, we have to have affordable housing in this, this. Town. Well, it's like in the ski towns, okay? I have to have affordable housing around the bayou where you live. Well, right. And then in you the think we should? Well, I think it's impossible. Why shouldn't poor people live on the water like you? Have a nice water view. <laughs> and you can help pay for it. Listen, liberals don't apply it to ourselves. You've, you've completely <laughs> misunderstood. We help other people see what they see, should do. Liberals okay. help people. With we want other to help. people's money. I think that's what we. Nancy Pelosi has a big heart. Rich, being big-hearted and generous, because she's not using her money. Did she's you using see, your money. Did you see the, the works. Wall Street Post study that they just published, where they had 35 of these scurrilous uh, people in Congress that made a ton of money while they were talking about the economic the collapse of the country, and they were racing out talking to their stockbrokers, and their dang fingers oh. are breaking well, their phones. Peter Schweitzer. We I talked know. about his book. He right. was here in front of the Tiger Bay Club, yeah. and it was just fat. That's where I got that. that um, no, this just got published. The Washington Post just published this a lo a long, in-depth study of what happened with Amazing. 35 congressional Amazing. people. It was terrible. They, they know that there's going to be a law that is bad for MasterCard, so they yeah. go out and short that stock. And yeah. well, I gave the, these. I think this is worth repeating. They studied the performance of people. Now, you, you get kind of a general idea of the Washington politician's stock portfolio. Right. So you kind of know how they did. And the general public does this. Uh, hedge fund managers uh, do a little bit better. But nobody does better than senators. Um, They're just such great stock pickers. They're just smart about the market. And they do better than everybody else. Anybody else. That's fascinating. It's just amazing That's fascinating. how that happens. That is. You know, well, that, that all, they, you know, they, don't call, they don't all come up here rich, but they all leave rich. They all leave that's rich. I mean, you can look at them anybody that's ever gone to the legislature. But, you know, even our state legislature, you can see it. It's over and over again. They go to the state legislature. They don't have a pot to you know what in, and they come back, and they own half of this, you know, half the good property in the city. But you know who didn't do any of that? Joe Biden. Our guy. Our guy, Joe Biden. Yeah. Give me a, give me a Republican Joe Biden, Joe Biden. that hadn't stuffed their pockets full of cash. Just give me one Republican. I'm just looking for one candidate. Maybe Jacob Javits. Maybe you got to go way there, there back may, in, there may be in one. history I don't know or something, any. right? I mean, decent people that, that are not there, Arlen Specter and others. But well, All right, can, what else you got? Ah, there's more. Okay. Um, how many people? On the payroll of the state of Florida, make more money than the governor. Well, we're going to find that out. Oh, you don't know? No, I don't know. You prompted me to ask this question. Well, because I wanted to ask the question, but I don't know the answer. <laughs> okay, I, I said, see. but here's well, the that's thing. that's okay. Here's the thing. We have this, we have the, our governor, who, by the way, is not taking a salary. Just kind of, you know, just incidentally. Do you know that? Well, yeah, and I hope you're going to give him some credit for that. I, you, I hope. I think it's yeah. wonderful. I, yeah. you, you, see, you misunderstand my position. You want to hear my position? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. That'd be good. I, I think Scott is the best thing that ever happened to the Republican Party because he makes fiscal sense. Yeah. The rest of them make no sense at all. Right. They spend as fast as they right. get their hands on the money. And he does. And, and they, they get and one goofy program after another. And Scott is saying Scott, that his great Scott credit. Does, Scott does some good stuff. And Scott was in a position where you had to have cuts. 
The state was broke. I know the revenue it. wasn't coming in. Well, here's why but I want that list. Okay? Scott yeah. signed the, the trading with Cuba bill. Well, we'll get to that in a minute because you don't have the full story on that. You have part of the I story. I have a full story. You do? I have both sides. All right, well, let, let's go well, back to... We, I know pretty much what the bill says. Okay, we're Because we're, we're I told you what the bill said, and then you corrected me, and now I know. <laughs> but, but before we get to that, I want to finish this getting the salaries, okay? I want to know, I want to oh. know, for example, the governor's salary set, which he didn't take, is... Yeah, but it's set by law. $130,000 a year. I want to know, and we can find this out, how many state employees... How many university employees, how many professors, how many agency heads, how many don't, department heads don't, don't, are making more than the governor of the state of Florida? Don't I want to know. Don't court judges make a little more than the governor? They might. They might make 130000 or something like that. I, I think the sal probably, salaries of judges is in this range. Yeah. But to me, the way, the way judges but, work, we're not soliciting the judges, but they work hard for the money they, listen, they if, earn. If you so. do that job right, Holy the good smokes. ones can make more in the private six, sector. Oh, they it's can. It's very hard work to do it right, and most of our judges here do it They're right. They're working 60 hours a week. They get more cases than they can handle. You know, this probably violates some yeah. covenant of something. Yeah. Judge Paul Rasmussen's having a retirement party tomorrow. And oh, good. I'm sorry I can't go because yeah. he he's retiring. I don't know if he comes back. And this isn't Curry in favor. I've known him a long time. He, yeah. He's been a great judge. He is a prince. And Our tribute to Judge Rasmussen who's, who's retiring. He is he is the judge's judge. Yeah. I mean, he's patient, he's perfect, yeah. thoughtful. He is. And we've had done some, a good job. We have some, we've had some, lots of, he's not the only one. But on the salaries, on the, back to the salaries, I want to know how many of these people are making more than a governor? I'll, I predict this. We'll be shocked, shocked at the people who are making more. Yeah. Now, there are some people in higher education that derive large grant, uh, or, or major grant recipients and that sort of thing, and there are like physicians that work at Shands or something that are world-renowned, right. and they make, you know, a substantial salary over that, and then and, and obviously earn it and yeah. are due. But I think there are tons and tons of people Throughout the university system, deans and other people making way over $200,000 a year. So what Scott is saying is, and I think he's right about it, hey, before you get to keep jacking up the tuition, universities and everybody else, I want to find out what you're spending the money yeah, on. Let's, and let's is, see and, where it goes. And, and are you being uh, efficient and effective in your mission? And are you... But, but they do have an argument. I mean, let's say you can hire somebody who's on the leading edge of some kind of really important research and you want them to come to the University of Florida because yeah. it will attract the best graduate students, it'll attract grant yes. money, but this guy's making 250000 And he yeah. said, well, I'll come if you'll pay me the same amount. I like Florida. Just give me my 250000 No I question. don't want to take a pay cut. Good There'd idea. There'd be nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with right. that. Here's the problem. We're going to look at each one of them. Well, why does this person make this? Why does this person? Because my general view is a dean, okay, it's an administrative responsibility. Right. It's important, but... We have deans making three hundred thousand dollars a year. Do you know really? that? No, oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, we that's do. as much as prison guards in California. That's <laughs> yes. outrageous. We heard about that before yeah. we went on the air. At a prison guard in California, made three hundred eighty-six thousand, and then that guy in New York a made a lot of money too, yeah. right? All right, we'll be back in a minute with more exciting news. This is within reason, Bill and Bob. Stay tuned. <laughs> 